Welcome back. The need for mental health services has increased because of the pandemic. 75% of adults between the ages of 18 and 24 report experiencing stress or anxiety. Now, PeopleWorks NM, their main focus is improving people's mental health and getting them back on track. I spoke with Cindy Anderson, the executive director and founder of PeopleWorks NM, about the increase in mental health issues that we are now seeing as a result of the pandemic, along with the need for counseling and support during this time. Cindy Anderson is joining us this morning. She is the executive director and founder of PeopleWorks NM. Cindy, great to have you with us. Thank you so much for inviting me. Definitely. For everybody at home this morning, let's explain a little bit of background of, as to what PeopleWorks NM is all about. Well, we uh, were founded in 2009 to provide mental wellness services to people. And um, we were founded uh, also to serve older adults in particular. So we have that specialty practice. Yeah. And those resources now needed more than ever. Let's talk about how the pandemic has had an effect on, on the worsening of mental health. Well, you know, we're facing a lot of isolation. Um, older adults in particular are at home. Uh, some of them are afraid to go out much because of the virus. Um, I think that we are all facing uncertainty and uh, that is actually kind of a grief process that our lives have changed um, in some cases dramatically and some folks are facing an economic crisis. Um, so yeah, there's major impact, which then of course affects uh, our depression, anxiety, substance use. So there's just a lot of impact fallout. Yeah, and there's also, uh, I see mentioned where addictions are being as, uh, as hidden problems as well, right? Yes, I mean, addictions in general are hidden even pre-pandemic, but uh, during this time frame, you know, we're not out socializing as much. And so others may not detect that there is an issue and people may be gambling online or then, you know, drinking in their own homes um, and opioid overdoses are also uh, increased during yes. this time frame. And again, right now, uh, let's talk about the, the effectiveness of telehealth is, I mean, is what are the pros and cons to this? Well, um, I think telehealth is a great resource, a great mode of um, getting mental health services. Um, the, the pros are that it's very um, easy to access, you know, so it provides accessibility. Um, you still have a connection with the person, um, even though that's on the con side too, some people prefer to be in person, but um, we're finding that it's really just as effective as in-person counseling, so. Wow. And again, you know, as is as, as always the case, uh, it's not even just those afflicted with the mental health issues, but, uh, you know, it, it, the caregivers have a lot of themselves to give uh, to, to, to devote to, to helping those individuals. Let's talk about um, some of the effects that the pandemic has had on them. Yes, you know, you think about these caregivers, they're, they're usually living with the person that they're caring for. And now with the pandemic, they're not getting out. Um, the resources aren't as readily available to them. So you're isolated. And um, um, so it's had huge impact on caregivers. And, you know, we're, we're reaching out to them uh, and providing a caregiver support group, which has been well received. Wow. And let's talk about how, how it is right now for everybody in New Mexico uh, to be able to reach out to, to, to PeopleWorks. How, how can they make that happen? Well, you can um, give us a call at our phone number, 505-990-4186, if you prefer that method. You can email us, PeopleWorksNM, like New Mexico, at gmail.com. Um, we have a nice streamlined way now of uh, providing intake paperwork. Um, and uh, you can check out our website. Uh, we have uh, videos there on caregiving during the pandemic, video on grieving life changes during the pandemic. Uh, if you're not wanting to engage uh, in, you know, with the counseling services per se. 
Making many resources available to those all throughout the state here in New Mexico. Uh, Cindy, thank you again for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.